Hi everybody, this video is a demonstrate how to draft our um, front bodice torso sloper in CLO. Um, let's see here, so this is in chapter 18, the first page of chapter 18. And to start, you should have the front bodice sloper already drafted. Um, I do have videos on how to do that and for your class, um, I am providing a size 16 one that's already drafted. If for some reason you're unable to draft it or find your old one that you drafted in our last class. Um, but I will be demonstrating on size 16 from the book. So here's the sloper. This is, again, this sloper is only going to go to her waist. It's not going to go down past her hips, uh, which is what we are, we'll be drafting now. So we'll start with this. Um, let's see here. Also, you will need two more measurements to get this going. You need to pull measurements 23 and 25 from your measurement chart, which is the hip arc and the hip depth as well. Okay, so um, my hip arc is, uh, what's my hip arc? It looks like my hip arc is 10 and a fourth inches for size 16. And um, my hip depth is eight and three fourths inch. Those are the two measurements I'll be using. So figure one, um, we trace our basic one dart pattern, which I have here already. So you know what, maybe, I mean, this is gonna be a copy of it. So there you go. And they want us to label the side waist um, X. So they want this corner to be X right here. Um, I'm not really actually labeling it. I'm just gonna remember that this corner right here will be X. And they want us to draw a line from our mid shoulder to our bust point and that's gonna be used as a slash line. So I'm gonna grab my internal um, draw tool here. I guess it's a G. And I will go to my bust point and then my mid shoulder. Um, you know, if I wanted to break, you know, if you're picky, like, oh, I want it exactly in half, then maybe I'll do that. Hold on, let me hit, um, I guess I'll right click, uh, cancel, delete. Um, okay. So, ooh. Where am I going? Mm -hmm. Let me come back. I'm going to hold option to pan. Okay, so if I select this line, I can right click and let's see here, I can split it. And um, I can split it, I guess, uniform into two. So now I guess by splitting, it's exactly, three, you know, it's basically three inches, right? So I'll say, okay. Then now I can get my internal draw tool and um, I can click from that point to the bus point. There we are, and I'll just hit return. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna select that guy and I'm just gonna right click and I'm just gonna say extend slash trim to pattern outline. Okay, I think it's fine, great. Okay, so um, that's it for the first step. I'm gonna go on to the next page for figure two. Figure two, they have us draw some lines to in order to place this guy. Let's, oh, you know what? I'm gonna actually switch to just 2D. I don't think we need to be looking at the 3D. Great, okay, so, hmm. I wonder if we can, how are we gonna do that in CLO? Hmm, I'm trying to think the best way. Um, maybe I'll just kind of draw on top of it, I think. Um, okay, so in this book, and you know what, the book actually flips it. I think what I want to do is I'm going to flip this guy too so it matches my book. So I'm selecting it. I'm going to right click and let's see if it'll let me just flip it horizontally. Yeah, 